Um, praise the Lord, everyone, and um, welcome to the God Seller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy I'd like to share. Um, I was hearing it for the past few days. I got the whole thing earlier today. Um, join me in, <clears throat> let's see, King James Version Bible. I hope I don't start dropping everything. I'm already starting off bad. I couldn't get the bloggy on there. Um, chapter 5, let's see, let's do verse 4, King James Version Bible. <clears throat> and when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. That's all I'm reading. Um, this is um, kind of long. Uh, and again, I got it this morning. Children, many continue to live in the world and believe man's lies. I have given you the truth and hope of things to come. It is written, it will be fulfilled. Soon your eyes will see major destruction and strange events, strange sights. Many will hear my shout and meet me. Others will be left behind to see the calamity and extermination of the multitudes. The multitudes who would not heed my warnings they mocked and laughed at my prophets and messengers. They refused to hear my message of eternal life with me. <clears throat> they refused to repent and turn from their wicked ways. They refused to humble themselves before me. They continued in pride and arrogance. Are you one of them? Am I speaking to you? Your leaders are corrupt. Your nation is surrounded by your enemies. Your enemies live beside you and you can't see them, a nation of reprobates. You can't see the error of your own ways and confuse and refuse correction. Now judgment is upon you. There is nowhere to hide. Have you prepared for war and famine? Have you prepared for weather disasters? Have you prepared for earthquakes and volcano eruptions? Have you prepared your hearts and called on me? I am your Redeemer. I am your Shepherd. I am the only way. Those I love and have chosen, chosen, have peace, and know I am with you. I am returning for you. To those who have rejected me, repent now. Whoa, uh oh. Um, again, um, based on the last 1200 prophecy messages that Brother Dan and I got, we know this is it. We're at the end. We're in the end days. I have how many prophecies saying we're in the season, Jesus is returning, he's coming back. This is actually a strong message, um, and there's a real lot of information in there. You might want to listen to this again. Um, because when I was getting it, I was like, whoa, listen to all these things that he's adding in here. He's telling us the same thing over and over and over. You need to be prepared. You need to repent. He's telling us straight up, we're under judgment. The United States of America is under judgment. We haven't repented as a nation. Our leaders are corrupt. They haven't repented. It goes on and on. You know the story. I have 1,200 messages out there, Brother Dan and I, pretty much confirming the same exact thing. Other messengers are getting the same messages that we are. Have a plan. He's asking, are you prepared? Listen to all the things he said in here. Are you prepared for? I have prophecy messages on just about every single thing he mentioned. Where are they? Have you prepared for, for war and famine? Have you prepared for earthquakes? Have you prepared for weather disasters? Have you prepared for volcanoes? Listen, and he's listening it, listing it one after another. And we're seeing these things happening every single day. Have you prepared your heart for him? Have you repented and turned from your sin? He has a list just like this in the scripture. You could Google it of who is not entering the kingdom and what are the um, sins that uh, need to be repented from. I can name some of them. Um, just get, uh, Google the Ten Commandments. If, any, if you're living any of those things, you need to stop right now and turn. This is like the last call for everyone to come forward and repent. This, I feel like every day when I say this, you need to repent, you need to turn from your sin. If you're in any of those things that this listed, liars, um, stealing, lust, fornication, I could go on and on. Adultery, if you're in any of these things, you need to repent. You need to stop doing it right now. And then the worst case scenario is if you're left behind, you know what's going to happen. He says it. Mass dis extermination. I have that in another prophecy. Who do you think is going to be in charge? The ruler of this world. Satan. I'm telling you straight up, this is what's going to happen. If you're left behind, Satan is in charge. 
He's the ruler of this world, not our Lord Jesus Christ. We don't belong here. We're just passing through here. We belong in heaven. You need to get, get this straightened out in your mind. Get a Bible, read it front to back. Join a Bible study group. Don't listen to people if they're mocking and laughing at you. Guess what? They're going to be the ones sitting here crying left behind, not you. You need to do this now. Get your house in order. Let your family know what's going on, whether they like it or not. I did it. I don't care if they laugh. I don't care who thinks I'm crazy. I'm going to sit here and say the same thing. As long as I'm alive and I get a message to do it, I'll be on here. This is serious business. We're at the end. This is it. I'm going to say what he tells me in every message. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. Um, Brother Dan and I, we have the gift of prophecy. Um, it's a spiritual gift. Um, a lot of people are confused on that. You could Google that. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Um, we're not fortune tellers. Um, we're not um, psychics. Nope. We're inspired by the Holy Spirit. Read up about it. You should know this. I see comments in the, um, script, in the um, comment section that clearly tells me people need to read the Bible every day. At least if it's 15, 20 minutes, read it. You can read it online. I do that at night. I sit there online and I read the book, the Bible. Please do this. Please listen to his warnings. You see all these potential things that we need to be prepared for. Uh, and I said it, and people laughed at me and mocked me that I don't trust God. Yes, I do. I trust him that he's warning me and telling me what to do. Have supplies on hand. Um, have things for your family. If you can't get out and get your food, you don't know what's going to happen. We saw how many things. We saw this um, Nashville blast now, um, last week. I remember when I did the video last week saying, this would be a good time for our enemy to um, attack or do something. And guess what? We have enemies living right here with us every day. Like he said, they could be your neighbor and you don't even know. You can't see it. Please have a plan um, and, and call on the Lord and, and get your sins forgiven. Stop doing, if, doing what you're doing if you're in anything sinful. I better go. So God bless you all. Again, thank you everyone that supports the ministry financially. Um, thank you everyone for all the Christmas cards and everything that was sent to my mom. Thank you everyone for um, everything you sent us, um, the gifts. Um, Christmas items, um, books, brochures, everything you guys send us. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for the uh, transcriptions underneath the videos in the other languages. That's fabulous. Um, what else did I want to mention? I think I pretty much covered everything. Uh, keep again our, our parents in, in prayer. My mom in the nursing home and, and brother Dan's dad. They're both in the nursing home and, you know, not doing that swift. My mom has coronavirus. I can't get her now. I can't get the nurse. I don't know what's going on. And then again, you know, my son is in jail. He called me yesterday. I was like, oh, no, I didn't hear from him in a few days. I was like, I hope nothing happened and he wasn't sick. He's in jail for a DUI. Um, he told me 200 more people um, in the jail that he's on were tested positive. Guess what? This week, 200 more. That brings the total to 900 people in that jail, jail where he is. And he doesn't have it. Praise God. I was sitting here going, oh, God, please don't let him have the coronavirus. That's why I didn't hear from him in a few days. Nope, he said he's good. He's not sick. Um, 200 more people tested positive. Just think of this. If you're in jail, and like him, he has bipolar disorder. He's not right. Um, and, and severe depression. And then you're hearing about all of these things happening. And you have no control over what's going on. And you can't get out. Have a plan. God bless you all. And thank you. I better go. This isn't going to upload. Thank you all. Thank you for everything. And, and have a blessed day. And be safe. Please let me get there without falling. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bloggy. I can't have to have somebody fix it. I can't do it with one hand. God bless you all and be safe.